My bad, y'all. I ended up hitting the stop button by accident, and uh, I that was actually really good. So I, I'm 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 not gonna start this over. I like that first part. Um, but yeah. So yeah, we need that clear, quick communication on the phone. Ain't nobody, ain't no man, real man that's trying to really move forward in progress in life at time to be on the phone all day with another man. And yeah, I said another man because here's the deal, you know, I'm a man, I'm a straight man, I'm a heterosexual male, I like women. So yeah, I may be a little more um, lenient and uh, how you say in talking to to females on the phone. You you got friends that's got the nerve to complain about not talking to them and not answering the phone calls and not hearing from them when I don't even talk to my mom on a regular basis like that. Whenever me and her do talk, don't get me wrong, we have we have good, nice, good, long conversations. But my mom my mom understands, and, and, she, and my mom understands, and I understand. Boy, it's one of those things. It's like this. Whenever I do, my, my mom is one person. Whenever she does call me, I'm gonna answer that phone. But she don't call me all the time because she don't need to talk to me all the time. Me and her have dis- me and her have discussed this, you know. And she's a, my mom. She's a woman. So, and the same goes for her. Anytime I call her, she always answers the phone. So, but that's mom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, ain't nobody hearing that crap, man. Uh, and, and if you got, you know, home, you know, homeboys, friends, and stuff like that, some some needy bullshit like that, man, then check them, please. Definitely check them because they sound real weak talking like that. Uh, now I understand if you got something serious going on, somebody died, you need somebody to talk to, or something like that, whatever the case may be. But I'm not about to sit up here and listen to you complain about uh, what your girlfriend or what your ex girlfriend or what your ex fiance or whatever or what your job uh, did. I'm not about to hear all that. Uh, you know, no. Um, moving on, the comparing of lifestyles or life situations and whatnot. Um, you have a lot of cats out here who like to play this pity party thing. It's this competition of who had it worse and shit like that, or who has it worse, assuming that they know everything about your struggles and strifes, right, okay, first of all, I owe you no explanations, you don't owe, um, you, you owe, you don't owe a motherfucker any explanations, first of all, let's get that out the way, second of all, I, I would probably rather slap you first, than explain anything, to you, especially if I got some serious things going on in my life that I need to handle that does not involve you. You can't even help me with. So, by you questioning me, it's only going to make things, I'm already touchy about the situation I got going on because it's important. So, you questioning me about my business is going to Anger me even further. Um, But yeah. People like to glorify and compare struggles and situations. When it's not something that should be glorified. You know when it comes to situations and and family relationships and stuff like that. Um, But I will say this man. Like I said. Hearing people complain about. They, this girl or this boy 
you got, and this goes on both sides of the spectrum. You know, you got you 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 female, you got your homegirls, you you do, you got your homeboys, and they complaining about, you know, they girlfriend. Man, I can't believe she done this. Da 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 da. Whatever, whatever. And their life is they they at that time and moment they seem like their life is so damn hard. You know, there's people out there who don't, they don't have their parents, they don't have, they don't, okay, they don't have a girlfriend, they either don't have none of their parents, or got one of their parents, or their parents, their, 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 their parents is in, is, is in a situation where they may be sick or, uh, unable and stuff like that, and need to be taken care of, you know, people with children, that's, they're not happy with their, the, the stability of the situation with their children, and they're struggling and fighting to try and fix that, you know, they may have some issues with the person that they have a child with, whether it's the baby daddy or the baby mama, and you got the nerve to sit up here and be complaining about something your girlfriend or your ex-girlfriend said and you want to try and compare it to that person's issues first of all that's um like i said they owe you no explanation the whole struggle with struggle period so the whole comparing of 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 uh struggles and situations should it shouldn't even be especially if you know this person is someone that you cool with you know what i mean but let's go ahead and, and 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 compare if you since you since you, since y'all like to push the issue and push the envelope and go down that road let's go ahead and compare all right do you you can always get another man if you're a female you can always get another man i mean i'm just being real you know some people aren't you know aren't aren't just disposable i'm not saying that but the I'm like I'm just talking about real real reality here. You can find another. You may not deserve to find another boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? If you're a chick or a girlfriend, if you're a dude, but you can. You only get one mother, one father, and you can't replace your children. Your children are so precious. It's a part of you. So. How dare you sit up here and try and push the issue on somebody who got shit like that going on because you got you having problems in your household or with your relationship? Absolutely not hearing it at all whatsoever. Absolutely not hearing it. Shit like that will like after so long it makes somebody want to slap the crap out of you. I'm just saying. Um Glorifying the struggle, you know, people's upbringing, whether if it's good, it was an easy or good up, upbringing or kind of bad or rough upbringing, it don't matter. What that person has attained, you don't know what that person's struggles was. You know, that person, yeah, that person may have a, a good upbringing and might have had, you know, a lot of stuff coming up. You know, he might have had a stable home and, and had both parents. But what if he was adopted? What if he don't? What if it's something that's struggling inside of him because he don't know who his real parents is? Maybe what if both of his parents died? You know what I'm saying? Or both of their parents died? You know, or was drug addicts or whatever the case may be. You don't know. Just because he grew up in a nice home. Or whatever, a stable home doesn't mean that he doesn't deserve what he has, what he or she, what he or she has attained. Because the thing is, is once you get grown, you gotta do this shit on your own. And if you you do what you gotta do is necessary to maintain what you have. And if you have support systems to help you, guess what? Do you, you every right you have every right to use those support systems to help you out. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing, you have to be living, li 
You have to be living and maneuvering a certain way in order for those support systems to still be there for you. You can't be out here doing a whole bunch of dumb shit and expect people to help you. That means even your parents. You know what I'm saying? Whether they real or foster. Your grandparents. Whoever you got in your life that is your support system that is helping you. I'm sorry. Everybody has an opportunity to where someone wanted to be there for them and help them out. So I'm not hearing that. It's all about how you maneuver to keep those support systems in your corner. So, me personally, I've I I I have a mixture of both. I I yeah, I grew up in the hood, but I did get to go to college. People think, oh man, so you went to college that you know, oh you you was you you had it good for some reason. No, let me tell you something. Me going to college, I didn't even really. It was just something I just did. Like I didn't know how how less I had until I went to college and I seen what all these people had growing up. They showing me pictures of back home and stuff like that and 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 everything like they had their own rooms and stuff. I didn't have my own room. I slept on the couch at my house growing up. All most of my childhood, I slept on the couch. I didn't have my own room. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I had a lot of discipline and structure in my household, and my mom made sure that we was we was fed and that we had what we needed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and I of course I had a little game system and you know and men and toys and stuff like that to play with as a kid and everything but you know i i wasn't a, i wasn't a child that was hard to satisfy you know what i'm saying and i grew up in a different era anyway you know um but my neighborhood was tough i had to learn how to protect myself I was, you know, carrying weapons, I was carrying weapons, hell, when I was around 10 years old, you know what I'm saying, my son is, he's, he's, he growing up, he, he's being raised right now way different than I did, you know, um, he doesn't have to worry about the things that I had to worry about growing up, but at the same time, he's not right now, he doesn't have that same structure that I had growing up, you know, my mom didn't play, so it wasn't a factor of me being, you know, having everything handed to me, because it wasn't, it wasn't exactly like that, and I didn't know that, you know, I thought I had it good, to be honest, and then I would go to college, and I meet these, all these kids, and, you know, saying all these other kids, and seeing what they had, what their parents had done for them, I was like, well, shit, you know, I am from the hood, like, you know, it, it was, it was, it was a reality check, really, you know, when you get to thinking about it, but the good thing is, is this, it's, what, what made it so nice is that the fact that I was raised, and it's about, it's not about what you give your children, it's about what you put, it's not about what you give to them, it's about what you put in them, and between my brother, my mom, and my grandma, I didn't even realize that I had it that bad. So in actuality, it really wasn't that bad. It, it, I feel like it created a balance for me because I have, you know, I come from a humble background, but at the same time, I know what it's like to appreciate having, having something. You know what I'm saying? Whether if it's a, a love, you know, structure, Making sure you clothe and fed, like just being able to appreciate having the basics, you know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, you know, people try to try to, uh, you know, have this competition. Like, oh, I ain't had, I didn't had opportunity to go to college. Yeah, you probably did. Your ass just didn't fucking go. It's not hard to go to college. And I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't all what it's cracked up to be, to be honest. Now, you learn that later on in life down the road when you got 
uh, uh, thousands of dollars of debt racked up because you went to college. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't pay for it out of your own pocket. You know what I'm saying? You had to get loans and stuff like that. So anybody can go to college if you if your dumbass if your if your if your dumbass graduate high school you can go to college. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know hell. I had to go to a college out of state or whatever because of the police in our city because of some shit that happened to us when we was teenagers. My mom was scared for my life. I had a fucking scholarship to go to the community college in um in Sinclair. I had to leave behind a, a freaking two year scholarship to go go to go to a school and get in debt because of that. So I'm not hearing nobody trying to complain about and compare their struggles with mine. Or you sh- and you shouldn't either. You shouldn't don't don't even get into that battle with somebody. You owe them no fucking explanation. You know what I'm saying? Get them people to hello. Tell them to keep it keep it moving. Get on. Um. So at the end of the day, what what it's about is this. It's about being capable. Being capable over an image. See, people take the image of struggle and they glorify it. Oh man, I was in the I was in the streets. I was da 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 da. So you automatically think that makes you a tougher, uh, a bigger, badder, tougher man than me, or you know what I'm saying? I, I I'm not a good example because I do come from some very humble backgrounds. But I I I have I got I got a mix of the both because of my own. I put myself in these situations. You know what I'm saying? I learned how to maneuver and act a certain way to to get to certain places and do be able to do certain things. That's why I know and can relate to people from all walks of life. Because I did not stay what I I came from. I didn't stay in that level. The idea was to get the hell out anyway. I don't need to keep the 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 image, you know what I'm saying? Forget the image. It's about being capable. So my thing is, my question is this. Just because you decide that you want to act like some buffoon, sag your pants, smoke fucking weed all the damn time, and uh, whatever whatever else, you know, and, and because you didn't go to college or whatnot, you think you're a tougher, bigger, bad man than me. You most likely wrong about that because I know people who come from really good backgrounds and had the opportunity to train themselves whether it be train their hands physically in a martial art and going to the gun range and practicing shooting and going hunting and stuff like that you don't know what these people are doing you don't know what another person knows there's people, there's kids that live in the suburbs that don't really, you know, see much, a bunch of conflict and put up and, and go through a lot of crap. But in a one-on-one fist fight, they will dust your cookies because they train to. They do the shit every day. They spar every day. They train every day. So hand to hand on some stuff, they will dust your cookies. One on one, you think that you've been out here, out being out here and had, had you know, had yourself several you know little fights with people, other motherfuckers who don't really know how to fight and stuff like that make you bad. When you come up against someone who's actually trained, so it's about being capable. It ain't about some bullshit ass image. Trust me, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to save you. Now, um. To the final part, bonds that hinder, bonds that hinder your foundation, bonds that hinder your forward progress, they must be cut and not made again. Like I said in um, in Omega, you gotta have your own self sufficient, forward progressing foundation. Period. Um, if you don't. 
then that is that is a recipe for manipulation. So make sure that you don't be having no bonds that hinder. Um part three's coming soon.